Thank you, Keisha, for your question, and thank you to all the community organizers working day and night to improve our neighborhoods and communities. It's clear that the current system isn't working. Wisconsin has locked up more people under Scott Walker, and yet we've seen some of the highest violent crime rates in our history. Locking people up simply isn't working. We can't simply keep locking people up and sticking our heads in the sand without addressing the real issues facing many Wisconsin communities. As governor, Milwaukee and communities across the state will have a true partner sitting in the governor's office. I will work hand in hand with community leaders to bring about real change to our criminal justice system and to end to the violence that plagues too many neighborhoods. No grandparent should fear that their grandson or daughter will be shot while playing in the front yard. No family should have an aunt or uncle in prison who's unable to obtain necessary services to rehabilitate. And no mother should fear being deported if they report a crime, and no one's brother should fear being shot by the police if they call 911. This is why I'm proud to endorse the Blueprint for Peace. And as governor, I'm committed to building stronger and safer neighborhoods in every corner of the state. The Blueprint includes strategies to stop shootings and violence in our communities, promotes healing and restorative justice, invests in and promotes children, youth, and families, promotes economic opportunity in underserved communities, and fosters safer neighborhoods and trust between law enforcement and residents, strengthens coordination and capacity among violence prevention efforts. You see, Wisconsin needs a governor that will unite folks to tackle the challenges we face. We need a governor who will fight for a brighter future for all of Wisconsin, and that's what I'm fixing to do. To find out more about how we can work together to tackle the serious challenges we face, please visit DanaWalks.com. Thank you.